We are live here in Marseille in France and we are racing in very light conditions. Full on displacement conditions now. On the super light air days like, like yesterday, we're focused a lot on the appendage setups. When the wind's really light and the boat's not able to foil, those foils actually are generating a significant amount of drag, maybe more than a typical boat that didn't have foils would have. And so what you want to try and do is figure out how you can minimize the drag caused by those foils. You need to optimize the angles of the foils that they're moving through the water to minimize that drag. If the boat's foiling, then you're trying to maximize the lift and keep the boat foiling for as long as possible. And you want to make that transition from floating to foiling very distinctly, uh, very quickly, to minimize your time spent in between those two modes. Coming in for another win, it is for <laughs> Japan. One thing that we can look at is when Japan's in a displacement mode, they have their daggerboard set at about 2.8 degrees, which seems like a pretty good number to minimize the drag of the daggerboard. And then when they choose to try and take off, try and go foiling, they're going to max rake. Eight degrees is our max rake angle. Compare that to USA. In a displacement mode, we have 1.36 degrees of rake. So similar, but a little bit less than Japan. So maybe we'd want to increase that slightly because it might be a better balance of lift versus drag. The boats that could get up and foil made huge gains on the ones that couldn't. And so we're trying to figure out how we can get up and foil earlier. So oftentimes at attacks, it's the time that you fall off the foils and then you need, you need to build speed and uh, take off again. So what I'm looking at right now is attack from Japan. Uh, they had some pretty good attacks and takeoffs yesterday. They change gear well, you know, and that's what today's about, you know, deciding when to foil and deciding when to be patient and wait for wind. What I'm looking at is one, what the boat speed was when they started to foil. So it's 17.75 knots. Once they hit that boat speed of 17.75 knots, they're adding maximum brake on the dagger board on the leeward side, which is putting in the maximum amount of lift to lift them off. If you do that too early, the board will stall and it uh, just creates excess drag. So that's why they have it down here at only about three degrees of rake um, to minimize the drag. And then you have to pick your moment when you're at the right boat speed to put it all in and get the maximum lift and hope that you can take off. Go, Rome. I'm trying. Roll it, Pete, set it down. Yeah. Yep. Straight into a pause. Yep. Two, one, and popping. Technology has been a huge help for us, and the amount of data that comes off these boats is fantastic. Everyone can see exactly how everyone's trimming the foils, and I think it keeps the racing really tight and really close. It brings the bottom up, that way everyone's on that even playing field. I think that's the best part. It's a one design class, so when it comes down to it, it's just about staying on the boats.